year 20 as an HC in the NFL, Coach, how does that hit you? Yeah, uh, I, you know what? You're making me feel old, but uh, <laughs> it, it's it's a uh, it, it's a blessing. Um, I love every minute of it, Rich. I mean, I'm as excited today as I was the first year I was a head coach. I mean, I love doing what I'm doing. I feel very honored to be able to do it and and do it for the Chiefs, uh, which is a great organization, as you know. So, very fortunate. So, how how have players changed in the 20 years? I think it's technology. I think that's about it. But it's the same thing. Once you get on the grass, there's <clears throat> there are no cell phones or smart watches or uh, you know they're they're all yours and and all they want to do is work. They don't care how much money they make. They don't you know how much money you make. They don't care. They just want to they they want to win and find a way to do it and work. And I I can appreciate that. I mean that's a <clears throat> it's kind of a fun fun atmosphere that pe- other people don't get to see. They think you're coaching all these rich guys and they won't they do whatever they want to do but that's not that's not how they operate so you're just saying technology is pretty much the only difference between players in 1999 when you walk through the door in philadelphia as a head coach and when you're going to walk through the door in kansas city for another playing season in a couple of months well i i think yes now technology can expand horizons so they, they maybe they're a little bit wiser in some areas maybe they're exposed to more things so <clears throat> technology can open up doors off the field and whatever direction you want to go in a positive way or a negative way uh, that maybe the players didn't have back in uh, back in that time. But uh, when, when you're on the grass, um, it's it's the same guy. And I appreciate that part. And the you, rules have changed a little bit. Well, so I mean, in terms in terms of that, I guess the rules. Uh, what 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 do you think of this uh, new catch rule? And do you think the NFL's figured it out? Yeah, listen, I I listened to John Harbaugh talk about it probably three, four years ago, and he did a big study on it. And at the time, it was touching three feet and down and, um, you know, having three ticks, and uh, and then that was a catch. And so anything past that was – and he kind of simplified it down to that. So – and then it's kind of expanded from there. But I think the foundation of it started there, and people started looking at it. And – it made sense, and and so that's kind of where we're at. I, I kind of like it, and I think it'll clear up some things. Well, I do too. The thing that, that I think still needs some clearing up, though, uh, in all honesty, is the new I, – I don't even think, think it's fair to call it a targeting rule, but the fact that you are not allowed to lower your helmet and make contact. And I'm wondering if that still means a quarterback on a sneak, if that means an offensive lineman already down the field blocking 10 yards for a runner that's already zipped by and – and now suddenly plays that we think are, are big plays in the NFL. Suddenly there's a flag on the field, and we didn't even see this happen. And I, I think fans are going to go crazy about that sort of thing. What what do you as a coach know about this rule uh, about lowering your helmet so far mid-May? Yeah, so I, I don't think it will be uh, quite that drastic um, for those type of situations. I think what you're looking at is those egregious hits, those ones that – they're trying to get rid of those that hurt the player himself that's that's doing them and then also can uh, cause damage to another player. So I, I think that's really where we're at. And then the officials will take care of it. They have a good feel. The coaches and the officials all met along with the competition committee. It was kind of a neat deal. And so they, they've come up with this thing together, things that can be coached, things that can be officiated, um, and, and listen, is the head going to be a part of that? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an, it's an issue. But the the commissioner, since he's been in, has tried to, you know, clean this game up so it can be um, as safe as possible for a contact sport. So, um, and that's, I, I, my hat goes off to him for that. That's not an easy thing, and, and you're dealing with a lot of different personalities here, uh, not only within the NFL but also fans. So. I think he's done a heck of a job with that. Andy Reid here on the Rich Eisen Show. What rule would you like to see changed that hasn't been changed, if anything? Yeah, listen, I'm always griping. And this is coach talk now. So I go mean, for it. Go for we're it. All, we always want more time to coach. And so any restriction that you have on that, you go, doggone, can I get some more time? But we work it out. Coaches do that. We're flexible. Um Although my hamstrings are tighter than yours, and, and <laughs> nice. you'd beat me in the forty. I'm telling you, I'd, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to stay with you. But that the the fact that we're, we're always looking for more time, but that, that's what you know. That's uh, that's how this thing works. It's a give and take. We understand it, and 
And so we work with what we have and we we go. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.